Boom, peace intro. What's up, guys? Well, finally made it back from vacation. Everybody who ordered stickers while I was gone, I got those shipped out yesterday. Thanks. Um, I actually have drawing seven for the hypo hauler is ready to go. And... Drawing four for the blue 510 wagon. One, two, three, four. Let's see. One, two, three, four, five. Only need to sell five more stickers, and that one's ready to go. And uh, drawing eight for the green 510 wagon. Looks like one, two, three. Only need to get, uh, get rid of three more stickers, and that one's ready to go. And I got the knives still. Um, still need some people to get on them knives. And I guess the pink one. The pink 510 wagon. Must not be very many people interested in that. I've only got one, two, three, four. Only got five people interested in that one. I guess maybe that one wasn't such a good deal for anybody. I thought it looked pretty sweet. But, you know, hey, it's cool. Um, and I finally got in those M2 trucks. Uh, I'll, I'll do a little deal on them later, but I'm going to have to do some separate videos because i got a lot of stuff, but there's the chase. Pretty sweet. I, uh, I actually got one of those. I told y'all I'm just, those things are like 35 bucks a piece. Pretty crazy for an M2 truck. I bought 124 scales and you usually get them for you know 20 25 bucks so it's kind of crazy that they're 35 but anyway i'm going to do some stickers on those and i was calculating it up and because i told you guys i might have to do 30 40 stickers because of how much they cost but i'm thinking that um I, i'm not sure but i'm hoping to just do 25 on those i may have to do 30 stickers but i'm hoping to do just 25 but we'll get those up sooner. But I'm going to have to do a video on those so I can show you. Because I got one that I'm just going to give away in the comment section. So that one we're going to open. I'm going to open it gently. Pop the cap off so we can take a close look at the truck. See if the wheels are rubber. Things like that. And uh, then I want to try to put it back together nice and neat. So whoever I give it to, it's still together. But yes, it will have been open. But hey, you're going to get it for free so and then the rest of them you know like i said i hope to just do 25 stickers on it it's easier that way and um you'll get that thing for four dollars if you win but um and i also got a couple more things to give away but anyway i have i've got boxes of uh i got the new muscle machines i got all of them scored there's some sweet ones too man i got to show them to you i just ain't got time let's while i was gone i got a mail call Tribal T Tranquility. I, I, I know that name. And I, I just can't place it with the name of the person. But I do not know what's in here. But we're going to see. And I also got a letter here. I believe it was a sticker from old Jake over at Stric Strictly Diecast. And then I got a few things I found while I was on vacation. Which Branson was pretty cool, guys. I told, was told it was going to suck. And, um, you know, that's another thing is I, sometimes I look at, I do those things on, you know, to myself on purpose. Like I just expect them to be terrible. So that way, when I go there, I'm not expecting a whole lot. And then things are better. Cause I thought it was fine. Sure. It was a cluster. It was a cluster bomb. I mean, it's, it's a, you know, single lane, two lane highway, not double lane. It's, you know single lane highway so that thing is just it'd take you 10 minutes to go two miles and um but there's so much to see while you're driving that i still didn't see everything and i was there a week and uh but but the most important the kids had a blast they done all kinds of stuff I, I couldn't tell you how much they did i mean i took them to the water park and man i rode every ride in that water park which i didn't think i was going to be able to because uh i other things that um i have like a aneurysm it's on my carotid artery on my optic 
my carotid artery right behind my optic nerve and they can't operate on it and sometimes when it if I spin or anything, I'll get vertigo. Never had vertigo in my life before until that happened. And uh, so I can't, I can't, I can't even turn around and look too much real fast anymore. I'll get vertigo. And uh, vertigo is just worse than ever feeling drunk. And it lasts for hours. Um, so I, I was afraid that that would happen. And, uh, but I actually was okay. I mean, I even went off that water slide that's way up there. Beat you to death kind of a bad deal because I was telling my granddaughters, come on, do it, do it. And they're like, no, no, Papa. They went off everything else though, everything. And then I was like, all right, I'll go first. I'm glad I went first because that thing beat you to death, man. I bet I fell 15 feet before I ever even landed on anything. And uh, then it just beat you all your back. Just I'm just too old for that, I think. But anyway, after that, I told them, no, girls, you don't need to go down that thing. And uh, so I'm glad they didn't go down it. And uh, but anyway, it was fun. And um, uh, then I, you know, Silver Dollar City is pretty cool too. But uh, I only rode a couple things there because now nah, it's too much spinning. I mean, I took on, I went on one roller coaster with them that was like taking corners at 50 miles an hour. The G's were just incredible. And uh, if it would have done, you know, if it would have just went one more time, I would have been toast. Because when I, by the time I got off of it, I was kind of already feeling it come on, you know. But I lucked out. And all the other ones, there was too many of them that were just, I, I couldn't do them. They'd, I'd get sick. And then, you know, I, my, grand, my granddaughters would be stuck over there because we kind of split up. I went off with my older granddaughters so they could ride stuff. and uh, But they rode a lot of stuff, so that's cool. So again... The kids had a blast. That's all that mattered. And there was so much more stuff we did, but I can't go into everything. I mean, it'd take forever. So let's get back to these mail calls from Mr. Jake Biggs. Or, you know, Jake over there at Strictly Diecast. He got me one of them new stickers he had. Pretty sweet. And I'm glad I got one of those because they are limited. He said he didn't have many. Cool. I'm glad I got one. It's like you got a little note in here. Let's see what it says. Hewitts, what's up, brother? Hope all is well with you and your family. Just wanted to send you one of my new channel stickers because you've been supporting me for quite a while now, and I definitely appreciate it, man. Sorry I didn't have anything else to send you, but I do have a casting in mind that I would love to have you customize at some point. Have a good one, buddy. Your Hot Wheels homie, Strictly Diecast. Oh, it's perfectly fine, dude. That sticker's all I need, brother. Um, like I said before, guys, I know probably a lot of people probably think I'm just saying that, but I'm serious, man. You guys don't have to send me anything, man. Uh, you really don't. And uh, it's all good. That sticker's cool. And uh, so I appreciate that. Now... Tribal Tranquility. I know. I, I hope his name's in here because I can't think of who it is, but I, I recognize that name from somewhere. So we're gonna bust this one open and see just what's in here, because I have no idea, and uh, nor did I have an idea it was coming. And uh, oh, okay. Yeah, I know who that is. I recognize that now. Sweet. It's R and D Customs. All right. I've seen one of these. It's one of them jigs. It's one of them jigs for doing customs and lining up your axles and all. That's cool. Appreciate that, buddy. Um, I kind of have another, another, you know, another system I use as opposed to that. But I'll give that a try. That may make things a lot easier. Oh, check this out. <laughs> now, <laughs> ghost pepper level 7 hot sauce. Holy moly. <laughs> now, I know ghost pepper's hot, buddy. You probably think you're going to sucker me into tasting that on here, don't you? Holy cap. I bet I'd regret that. And he also sent me poker chip 
sticker. Sweet little couple NOS bottles, few NOS bottles. One painted with stickers on it. I usually make my own NOS bottles, but I'll admit these do look cool. These would these are handy. I don't know how much you could buy these NOS bottles for, but you know, because I sell my customs. I don't know how much they cost, but if the more stuff I have to buy and I can't make on my own, you know, the, the, that goes in, that takes away from the custom, what I, you know, the because I, I, I don't make anything off of them hardly anyway. So, but if they're, you know, if they're cheap enough, they're, you know, they're, it's, it's, it's worth it because you don't have to go through the trouble of making them. And they're pretty cool. I mean, he's got one in here that's painted. Um, and, and looks like he stuck the decal on it. So I don't know. I know he was talking about getting his website going. Looks like he's got me some steering wheels in there too. Um, that's pretty cool. Uh, but as you see there, he's got the sticker on it and everything. I know it's a pretty cool. But of course he had to take the time to paint them. Put the decal on it. The gauge. Looks like the gauge has a little decal on it as well. It's either a decal or paint. Definitely looks like a decal. So, you know, shoot, I, I mean, I don't know how fast you do those, but you'd think you'd have to sell that little, that bottle for you know, three fifty to five bucks, maybe just to to be worth his trouble to make them. So you start adding that up to put into my customs, and that's why I don't buy a lot of three D printed stuff. You know, engines and all that, because you got so much time you put in them already. But you know, it's good to know that there's there's places to go and get that kind of stuff because it does that that NOS bottle does look better. Um, I mean, at this point, all I'd have to do is paint some brackets around it. And mount it be ready to go put me a line a line on it to the front then he's got some steering wheels in there so yeah that's pretty cool thanks buddy I'll stick that to the side and uh, appreciate this jig thing like I said I have a little system I use already but um, who knows this may be uh, better way of doing things you know what I mean it's definitely going to keep everything in line and precise so that's handy stick that baby off to the side over here appreciate that now I don't know buddy try this ghost pepper stuff out I have a feeling I will regret this ghost pepper level 7 hot sauce feeling that was going to happen when I tasted them other ones I was like somebody's going to send me some now and they're going to be that hot stuff let's take a whiff of this baby mm. wipe off my finger here I do got me some water Ghost Pepper Level 7. I don't know, guys. Kind of smells... Kind of smells like Tabasco sauce.
Boy, I'm gonna have the hiccups immediately on that baby. Mm. probably shouldn't have swallowed so much but uh it's wasn't for the hiccups <coughs> dang it man soda pop does the same thing I'll get hiccups like immediately well I tell you that's hotter than every one of the other ones but uh, uh, it's really not, I mean, my mouth's not numb or nothing. It, it was pretty hot though, guys. So, on food, it may not be that bad. Like I said, I probably shouldn't have took such a, a large amount. I was probably stupid. I'm just trying to stop the hiccups, guys. I heard sugar is good for that. It used to work when I was a kid, but I don't have no sugar down here. So, I'm uh, going to have to deal with the hiccups for a little bit, guys. Anyway, I do feel a little sweat coming on there. Good thing I didn't drink more of that. I'm going to blow my nose. You're probably laughing now. <laughs> but it'll go away. Sorry, guys. Got the hiccups now. Anyway, check this out. Pretty cool little trash truck I found at one of them little stores. <coughs> and it'll dump in there. And this opens. Um, it's nothing. It's a made in China deal. But I thought it was pretty cool. I like how it had a little dump truck in it. Yeah, it was $10.99. But anytime you go to them souvenir shops, guys, that's how it's going to be. A little recycling truck. So I grabbed her. Thought it was pretty cool. I found this baby. Oh, man. Sweet Maui van. Maui and Sons. Look at that baby. She was in sweet shape, too. Everything straight, straight on her. Wheels were nice. And I found a sweet little Ford Econoline, too. Look at that baby. Oh. Oh, sorry about them hiccups, guys, but I guess that's how it goes. Let me find another little cool thing. Got it for a buddy, because he'll think it's cool. He likes Corvettes and surfboards, but check it out. It's a it's a welly. It's a pullback. But it's a refrigerator magnet. And it it works. I got myself one too. And it's up on my refrigerator. It sticks right on the side perfectly. And uh it says Branson on it. And uh, I thought he'd think that was pretty cool. So I grabbed one for him. Got it over here with his stuff. Then I found some other things that I have not been able to see around here, guys. I thought they were super cool. First off, I was at that 
Celebrity Car Museum and they had the Chrome Edition Bullet Mustang. The green and green chrome. Unfortunately, it was $15. But it was super clean and I liked it. So I got it. I have the I think I have the regular bullet. Did I put it? Put it. I moved. I moved it. Oh. It? Oh, you know what? I don't. I don't. I have the charger. Check it out. So anyway, I grabbed that for fifteen dollars. And um, I got some more cool stuff right here I'll show you, but here's what I got. That's, that's the bullet one I have. It has the charger with the trailer, and the truck, <coughs> and dang hiccups. I should have known better. That's the one I have. I could have swore I had the Mustang. <coughs> if I'm not looking correctly. I usually kept all those together, so I must not have it. Or I would see it. Gone in 60 seconds, Eleanor. I bet that's what I was mistaken for. I got the Gone in 60 seconds, Eleanor. So anyway, grab that. Was it worth it? I don't know. Everything out there is expensive. Like I said, they had basic Hot Wheels that were four bucks. And you're like, dang, dude, are you kidding me? Nothing special about them. And, uh, but then I found some of these, which I thought were cool. I haven't seen them anywhere around here. World's smallest monster truck. And that one is that tiger shark looking one it is my i have it in the 124 scale or whatever it is the big one and it's one of my favorites but they had that one so i grabbed it and of course these suckers were nine bucks and uh they had the fire engine <coughs> knew i had to get that one they only had three of them i took all three of them and uh, otherwise, I probably would have got every one they had, unless it was one I didn't like. And then they had the uh, Tiger Shark. So I grabbed that one. And then they had several of this one. I believe that's the Roger Dodger, yeah. With the case. Uh, I guess... It actually holds 12. If you opened it, it'll actually hold 12 of these little micros, you know. See there, it actually, yes, it actually works. Uh, maybe it only holds 6. 12 car rally case. 1, 2, 3, 4, no. It's like 7. It's like it might hold 7. Unless you're supposed to double them up. I don't know. But anyway, found that baby, so I grabbed it. This this one was only 7 bucks. So, I was like, cool. I'll take that. Yeah. So, um, pretty much it. I found some other basic Hot Wheels. Uh, I'll have to do another video on the other stuff, but um, we walked into a Walmart down there and uh, my buddy scored some of the uh, uh, Mountain Drifters. I didn't really care about the set. Had a chance to get it a while back, didn't. But I wouldn't mind having the Liberty Walk and the Toyota, but he found everything except the Liberty Walk. I just grabbed these two. There wasn't another one of those where I would have got it, but I got that one. And, uh, 
I almost, I really wasn't so sure I cared about this Celica, but it is detailed real nice. So I grabbed that one. And, and then they had some, they had a whole set of these new Volkswagen things. I didn't really, I was real picky about which ones I got because I didn't think they looked that cool. I, man, matter of fact, I thought some of them were pretty hideous. But I had that one. I, want, I wanted the T1 panel, but there was none of them. But that one was pretty cool. So I grabbed it. And the Caddy truck was pretty cool. So I grabbed it. And then um, the SP2. Pretty cool. So I grabbed it. Um, I don't think... I think I grabbed any others. Of course, the other things I grabbed were just, uh, you know, I got another one of these Volkswagens, one of these, another one of the McLaren, and, uh, oh yeah, there was this one, this new set, or I mean, this one goes to the uh, T1 pickup set. I grabbed that one too, which it's a, uh, Roco GT24 whatever but it looked pretty cool so I got four out of that set I didn't really care too much for the rest of them um, they weren't there or the T1 wasn't there you know like I said the rest of these are just things I already had so that pretty much sums up all of that guys so I'm gonna stop this video at this I got to do another video on them Colonel Square bodies and I got all them muscle machines to show you that are pretty sweet I'll do that in another video and I got some more things from Greenlight pretty cool ones uh, that I'll show in another video so at this point we'll just stop right here with this and Golly, man, I probably should have waited to uh, the end to do that because I'm still hiccuping or whatever you want to say. And uh, yeah, here's the uh, the regular. Like I said, we'll get this one opened later. Take it out, look look at her close, see if those wheels are rubber or plastic, and uh, go from there. It is pretty cool truck to have so like I said it's this will be the one I give away um, since I'm gonna open it and and we'll go from there and then the rest of them I'll do in a drawing except for obviously like I said I'm probably gonna keep that chase and I'm gonna keep me one of the regulars and uh, but like I said I'm not trying to make money on these things like that guys I, I am trying to get a little more so I can keep it going, but uh, I, I'm trying. I'm gonna do the math again, and I know I won't be able to pay for the whole box by just selling uh, 25 uh, stickers. But I'm gonna keep two of them, so it should leave me enough that after after the stickers and everything are deducted, I should get like an extra ten dollars maybe per car. And so that'll give me the money back for the car plus ten dollars. So it did actually grow by ten more dollars in that aspect, minus what I pay to 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 keep those two cars, you know. And uh, so that way I can turn around, find some more cool stuff to buy, and uh, give away and stuff. But um, those will probably end up stretched out more because I'm hoping to get back into customs and spitting those out for people that want them. And, and golly man sorry guys I should have never done that and uh that'll take up some time but anyway guys like I said I'll get the oh and I also got to do a video on these drawings I got I got the, these cars to give away I need to get them done so like I said I've got the one ready drawing sevens ready for the hypo hauler um five more stickers on drawing four for the blue 510 wagon and three more stickers on uh drawing eight for the green five, 510 wagon we'll give away all three of those 
then I'll set up some of this other stuff on there for whenever. And like I said, the uh, apparently nobody's really interested in that pink one because I've only got five stickers gone so far. So uh, I was kind of surprised at that. So that may take a while, guys. And the knives. I'm only like halfway through on the knives. So if I want to get y'all a sticker on them knives, I'll tell you, all, maybe I need to show them again. But they're really nice knives, guys. They really are. And, uh, but anyway, no biggie. Oh, uh, I'll get a drawing done and give away the, what I do have ready. So somebody can get that baby sent to them. Good luck to all of you guys. <laughs> oh, golly, man. Rodney. All right. Um, y'all take it easy and I'll try to get some more of these videos out. Oh, golly. Hope everybody had a great 4th of July. I had an awesome week. I was surprised. It was hotter than... You know what down there, but it was fun. Uh, it was fun. Kids had a blast. That's all that matters. My, all the air got sucked out of my wallet, but, well, I shouldn't say air, but my wallet went from this to this. Well, my wallet went from this to this. It imploded. But hey, you only get to take them, you only get to do that so much for your family, then you're gone. My grandkids will always remember that. And th maybe they'll do the same thing for their family as they go on because that's what it's all about. Work all year, sweat like a dog, live like an animal, and then have fun for a week or two. That's what it's for. So y'all take it easy. Peace. Outro. See you, uh, <laughs> see you later, Rodney.